we begin this hour with breaking news. CBC News has learned explosive details on the Senate expense scandal. It comes from court documents filed by the RCMP, and it pertains to the deal between Senator Mike Duffy and the Prime Minister's former Chief of Staff, Nigel Wright. Hannah Thibodeau is on the story live from Ottawa. I know you're still trying to digest, mm -hmm. uh, you know, a whack of information, but what can you tell me so far? Here are the court documents. I've got them split up so I can tell you all about them. There are 80 pages in total and extremely explosive. What uh, Corporal Greg Horton, he's the investigating officer in the Senate expense scandal, uh, what he is saying in this and what he is alleging is that he believes that the Prime Minister's former Chief of Staff, Nigel Wright, along with Senator Mike Duffy, committed bribery, fraud, and breach of trust. So now these allegations are going directly at the Prime Minister's former Chief of Staff. Corporal Greg Horton says in court documents there are reasonable grounds to believe the Prime Minister's former Chief of Staff corruptly offered money of, uh, or favor to Senator Mike Duffy contrary to the criminal code. So illegal, not allowed to do that. Also, Horton alleges Mike Duffy agreed to accept that offer of money. I'm just going to take a step back for viewers. Remember, this is the $90,000 that um, Nigel Wright gave to Senator Mike Duffy to pay for his inappropriate expenses. Now, Horton alleges that Nigel Wright and Mike Duffy committed a breach of trust. And also in this, Horton believes Wright did this without the consent in writing of the Prime Minister Stephen Harper. So only in writing, and that's something that we're looking at still. So very clear that maybe there was some verbal talk, but in writing, he didn't get consent of the prime minister. Now, again, just a couple of other things out of pages here because there is a lot to go through. He says as well, I see no evidence that the prime minister was involved in having Senator Duffy's legal bills paid, but that's the legal side of it. Also goes on, Nigel Wright referenced in an email, and this was back in February, that he wanted to speak to the prime minister before finalizing the agreement with Janice Payne. Now, what this is, Janice Payne was the lawyer of Mike Duffy. So she was going back and forth trying to finalize this deal and how it would work out, what lines Mike Duffy would have to say. And he wanted to talk to the prime minister before finalizing this deal between the lawyers. Now, it's not just Senator Mike Duffy and Nigel Wright. It goes beyond them as well. All the names are in here. There are allegations as well that the investigation is going to expand to search the computers of Senator Marjorie LeBreton. She's the former government leader in the Senate. Carolyn Stewart Olson, who's the prime minister's former spokesperson. David Tkachuk, he is the a gentleman who sat on the committee, who was the chair of the committee looking into the expenses. And these are, and Senator Mike Duffy, and these are the people who altered the report to go easy on Mike Duffy once he paid those expenses. What he says is that these emails from these computers, he believes show there was considerable communication between the prime minister's staff and the senators. So this communication clearly showing that it was more than Nigel Wright and Mike Duffy who knew about this whole deal. More people involved. The prime minister has always said it was just Senator Mike Duffy as well as Nigel Wright who knew about the deal. Now Corporal Horton is bringing in all of these other players, the senators, as well as the legal counsel in the prime minister's office and the legal counsel of Senator Mike Duffy. So those are a few of the things that we have so far. But one other thing that's interesting in this, and just kind of taking a breath here, there is one person who seems to be a little bit of a hero in this. His his name is Christopher Montgomery. He was the Prime Minister uh, PCO's issues management guy. And he, in fact, tried to stop the Senate committee from making those changes to the uh, report on Senator Mike Duffy. Um, he said that uh, there was this influence of the prime minister's office and whitewashing of the Duffy report, and he didn't want to see this happen. And in fact, he went to specifically the two people in the prime minister's office involved and said they should not be involved in the Senate audit. With re uh, and reports regarding Senator Duffy. So telling these two people in the prime minister's office who are getting involved with the audit, stay out of it. Because he goes on to say 
that uh, in his seven years in the Senate, he couldn't recall other times when representatives from the prime minister's office actually attended meetings and insisted on the wording of a Senate report. So now we know as well that the prime minister's office was directly involved in trying and changing that Senate report on Senator Mike Duffy. So all to come back and to summarize it all just quickly is now we know that from this RCMP investigator, he says he believes that the Prime Minister's former Chief of Staff, Nigel Wright, and Senator Mike Duffy committed bribery, fraud, and breach of trust. But he's also dragging in a whole bunch of other players who now are involved in this, and it wasn't just those two who knew about the deal. A lot of information, Hannah. You did a great job going through it. You really did, because I know you've got a lot of you know, pages there to sift through and to, to give us the, the, the golden nuggets. Uh, must we add all of this still unproven? Uh, absolutely. We do have to say that this is the RCMP order because they want to get more information. Uh, but what they're saying is that they believe that they committed these uh, offenses under the criminal code. There are no charges that have been laid at this point in time, but this is the investigator who's saying his belief and all of the information he's gathered, he will send this to the, uh, the Crown attorney to say these are the charges he believes should be filed. Then it's going to be up to the Crown to decide whether it has enough information from the RCMP to lay charges against Nigel Wright and Senator Mike Duffy.